What's the chow chit chows? Lancer Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Vault White 2 Yes Lock. In the last episode, we took on some of the trainers here in the gym and we lost a Pokemon. Today, we're probably going to lose more. Honestly, we're facing Drayden. He's a very scary man. His team is not as scary as I want it to be. Then there's the ace. Like, the rest of the team is not as bad as his aces. Like, his ulterior is going to be scary as hell to beat. His flygon is going to be is going to be scary to beat as well. Both of those, I'm probably going to need Jolly or Bill and Ben because they're guaranteed to be faster. Um... Kevin is one of my fastest ones on my team, so he might be able to outspeed... He might be able to outspeed something too and get off a dot, uh, get off a bug buzz. So I have some strategies. I'm not, I don't like my strategies, but I'm not sure what else to do. This thing is, uh, training is so scary. Anyway, let's get on with this. Okay. Uh, welcome. Thank you for coming. I am the Overlooser City Gym Leader. Yeah, Drayden. That's my name. Drayden. As the mayor, I have given everything to the vault this city. As a trainer, I am simply pursuing greater strength. But what I'm really searching for is a young apprentice who could show me a bright future. Perhaps you could show me that same future that Iris has shown me. Oh, believe me, Iris showed me a future. And it was bright. <laughs> no, you can't say that. I just did. I just did. Anyway. Hey. I'm a little scared of this. I'm a little scared of his team, to tell you the truth. Because he has some scary mons. And I know I can't win my click claw popped. Again, I don't think I need it, but sure, why not? Oh my god, maybe I did. <laughs> Never mind about my strategies, because I'm not going to win this match. Yeah, never mind about my strategies, because I'm not going to win. That's just literally how it's going to work. I'm not winning. I'm not winning this. I want to I want to say I'm probably going to win. This. I'd like to say I'm going to win this, but I'm not sure I am. Cotton Guard. I just lost uh, my... Be I've lost one of my best Pokemon. I lost... I lost Kevin. Kevin's been so good for so long. Jolly, I need you to come through with this. Cotton Guard boost your defense. Hey, there's Hale in play. Why are you missing? Hale is not... Blizzard is not supposed to miss under hail. Oh, of course you have a Yachty Berry. Oh, you're not living. <laughs> you're most definitely not living. That is definitely not a thing you are doing. Okay, Dragon Pulse. Come through. Destroy this. Uh, 
Nice. Okay. Flygon. I don't know what to do because I need to... I need to get Jolly in. To really deal with Flygon, I need to get Jolly in. But then and that means I need to switch out for Haxorus. And I don't know who to switch into because I'm going to get my ass whooped by Haxorus. Draco, I need to live. I live. You have a white herb. Okay, that's destroyed you. The hail stopped right at the wrong time. But there's Haxorus coming in, and I have nothing for this. There's nothing I have is faster. And I'm not sure many things will live outrages. So he breaks the mold, so he's not going to get hit by things like, uh, you know, static. Right? That's how it works, right? I don't know. He's going to have EQ. If he's not going to have EQ, he's going to do... He's going to... I'm not living again. See, my problem is I'm not sure I'm living. I outspeed! I do decent damage, but... Dragon Gem boosted. No one's living this. Dragon Gem boosted outrage. How do you live? I'm sorry, Super. I really am, but I have nothing. Nothing lives a Dragon Gem boosted outrage. Not even the best Pokemon, not even the most resistant Pokemon could live a Dragon Gem boosted out. Maybe Steel types could. I can see why this is called the Deathlock amongst some of you guys, but, like, I have nothing that can do any damage to this thing right now. I need it to hit itself in confusion. Because even without the Dragon Gem, it does a lot of damage to me. And, uh, with the Dragon Gem, I'm pretty sure... No one would live. He hit himself in confusion! Oh my god, I need to hit the blizzard. He hit himself in confusion again! But I missed the blizzard. And that time I outsped for some reason. And now you're healing. But you're not full restoring, so you're still confused. You only used the Hyper Potion. Aurora Beams does so much. Blizzard would kill... Is that a speed tie? Why was I out speeding sometimes, but not other times? Like... Uh, most of the time, I was not outspeeding. I don't... I'm confused. I mean, yeah, I lost... 
I, I beat him. I beat him. I lost two of my best Pokemon. I lost Super. Super's been so good for so long, but... Uh, I had to do something against Haxorus, and not very much was outspeeding him, and I guess... I mean, Dragon Gem boosted Outrage, mate. Dragon Gem boosted Outrage, so... Before you type F in the comment section, think about it. Dragon Gem boosted Outrage. Yeah. It's annoying. Wonderful. I'm grateful that uh, we had the chance to meet and battle. It reminded me that Pokemon battles are f about working with others to meet our challenges together. Well, now you've obtained seven gym badges in Unova. That means Pokemon up to level 80 will obey you when you receive from traits. They will follow your commands obediently. Also, I want you to have this TM. I'm pretty fond of it. It's called Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail is a move that returns damaged Pokemon to its Pokeball. In all words, it switches the opponent out. Professor Juniper asked me to tell you about Dragon-type Pokémon that, crea that created Unova. Please wait outside! Okay. I will wait outside for you. I'm a little annoyed I lost two of my best Pokémon. My box is not as great as people think it's gonna be. So... I was, I was expect, to tell you the truth, I was expecting deaths. I wasn't really expecting, like, Super or, um, uh, Kevin to die. I was expecting, uh, Ender. I was expecting, like, uh, Bill and Ben to die. I was expecting, uh, Jolly to definitely die. I was still expecting them all to die, really, actually. <laughs> Allow me to show you the way. Follow me. Do I have to follow you, or can I go to the Pokemon Center? Oh, we can go to the Pokemon Center. Okay, cool. Uh, Kevin? No one was quicker than you. You were the quickest. You were absolutely amazing. You deserve your place in heaven. And Super... Honestly, I... I don't know how you outsped that, uh, darn Haxorus. Then again, I don't know how Jolly outsped Haxorus too, on some turns. But that Thunderbolt did do some work, and I am very, very happy for what you did. But again, Dragon Gem boosted Outrage. Not even the best Pokemon are living that on their best days. You know what? Hey Google, spell heaven. Heaven is spelled H-E-A-V-E-N. Hey Google, spell heaven. Heaven is spelled H E A V E N. N. Oh, right. <laughs> Hang on. Unless something's spelled out right in front of me, I'm never going to be able to spell it. So I think it's... Ignore my phone going off. Damn you, Sky News.
Right. Yeah, I don't... I'm going to stop calling my bot... I'm going to stop calling my death box hell. I'm going to stop calling it heaven instead. And since it's heaven now, uh, it needs to be changed from a volcano... To cla uh, to sky, sky, sky. There we go. There we go. Heaven. That feels so much better because uh, the Pokemon that are dying, my uh, like the good, po the Pokemon that have died, they deserve more than just go to hell. They deserve more than that. I need to start calling my... I need to stop calling my death box hell. I need to start calling it heaven because it makes more sense because these Pokemon have been, like, through everything for me. And they deserve a hell of a lot more than they get. They really do. I think I want the damned on the team. Yeah. I think I want the damned on the team. I think I want Pat as well. Because I'm either thinking Pat, Robber, or Fat Bat. Because I don't have any more I don't have another I don't have another electric type. But I like all three of these. And Staraptor would be so cool because I know Staraptor is fighting flying in Dreyanu ROM hacks. So it's not, it's quite powerful. And I know Robber is not as horrible as people think it is. You know, Obstacoon is better. Believe me, Obstacoon is. But then again, if I use Punk. Yeah, but I've already got a. I mean, I've got... Do I want to use Punk? Because Punk is a beefy ghost type. It's not a beefy ghost type. It's a more special attacking ghost type. But it can learn Thunderbolt. Miss Magnus can learn Thunderbolt. And that would be really useful. And Shadow Ball. Whereas... Cofagrigus really only has, like, well... Bulk. It's a powerful mon, don't get me wrong, but it's just bulky. And I know Punk can do some work. Um... See what I mean? My box is really bad. Like, they were set... Uh, like... Phil was saying in the comment section of the untested episode how a dra having three dragon types, uh, uh, having having another dragon to the team was a really bad idea. But the fact is, I have nothing. I mean, I have another fire type in wildfire. I have another dra uh, a potential dragon here in seahorse. Jesse is bulky, yes, but she doesn't learn any attacking moves. Speedy is really good for speed, but again, it's another flying type weakness. The Damned is bulky, but not a lot else. Robber is, well, Robber. Uh, Fat Bat is, well, it's cool. It's bulky if you can get it to Crobat. But other than that, it's not the best. Dax is Dax is okay, but it'll never uh, with with normalize. Nothing it does is super effective on anyone, but also it gets stab on everything. So there is swings and roundabouts to the normalize ability. So don't know, and then 
You know, this is the only other thing I would consider. Because this is probably a physical attacking beast right now with it being... But it's modest. Which goes against what it's supposed to be. Because this thing is sniper. This thing should be adamant. This thing needs to be adamant or potentially jolly. Because uh, its speed is its best stat. Where it's, uh, it's attack. Which is the thing you actually want to do with it most of the time. Is the thing that I cannot do with it. Because the fact is, well... It's not good with the speed. It's not good with the attack because, you know, it's this modest nature. Which special attack up and, of course, uh, speed down. No, no, no. Special attack up, uh, physical attack down, which is not good. It's just not good. Well, I'm going to go and grind these things off screen, but for the moment in time, because we've still got an episode to do, so let's continue the story, I guess. Actually, let's continue the story, but I have a duck. I have a dusk stone. Right? I have a dusk stone, right? Yeah, I do. There. You use that. There's nothing that I want as uh, Miss Magni... Uh, Miss Strebus that I can't get back from being Miss Magnus. There we go, Miss Magnus. Look at that beautiful beast. Who can learn dragon tails? It's physical. Ender can. You know what? Ender, I'm going to be waiting for a while for you to get outrage. So... There. You can have dragon tails. You can tell Dragon Tales. Uh, right, I want to give you this. Uh, let's get rid of that. For Thunderbolt. Can anyone learn... Can you learn Surf? No. Can you learn... You can probably learn Shadow Claw, but I don't want to teach you Shadow Claw. I want to teach you Shadow Ball. See, I already have the TM for Shadow Ball. So Pumpkin's just a really good idea, actually. There we go. His best ghost-type move that uh, he'll, le she'll learn. The best ghost-type move that she'll learn. Psy Shock is probably better than... But you can't learn that. I mean, it's better than Psy Beam, definitely for sure, but I don't earn it. Alright, fine. Grass Knot? Nope, no one learns that now. Super was my only person who learned Grass Knot. Flash Cannon? Nope. Flamethrower? Oh no, you don't learn it. Okay. Like I'm gonna have to look at your move sets and like compare them, but I think there's I think there's a definite reason why I'm using uh, punk. Uh, I'm definitely using punk. I'm definitely using punk. But I need to, I'm gonna have to look at move sets and stuff like that. There's a lot of things I'm gonna have to potentially run around with and, and see what happens. This way. Okay, we're here. Come inside. Alright, I will come inside. Let me tell you a story. It's a long time ago and I forget it a lot, so um, please listen carefully. It was two years ago. That's not a long time ago. 
It's a long time for me. Shut up. All right. Fine. The two dragon type Pokemon uh, were awakened. The white dragon type Pokemon Reshiram sought what was true with its with the desire to usher in a new world of goodness. And the black dragon type Pokemon uh, Zekrom pursued what was ideal with the desire to usher in a new world of hope. Zekrom and Reshiram were once the same Pokemon. You may wonder why it split into two. The single dragon Pokemon had helped the twin heroes bring a Unova region into being. But when the two heroes, the younger brother who sought after ideals and the older brother who sought after the truth, started to bicker, it surrounded the region and split it into two as they fought to see which one of them was right. In the desperate hour, the single dragon type Pokemon also decided to split its body into two, a white Pokemon and a black Pokemon. Truth and ide Even though truth and ideals don't necessarily need to be in opposition of each other. The story goes that there was a third dragon type Pokemon, Kyurem, who had also came into existence at the same time. And there are, there may be proof of this to be found in the treasure passed down through my family throughout the generations. For DNA splices, Professor Juniper's research determined that the materials in the splices date back to the same era as the materials used in the building of Dragon Spiral Tower. Oh, the DNA splicists. I have them stored away safely. I guard them because I don't know who uh, who wants them and uh, what kind of power might lie within them. But here is what's bothering me. Could there be more? Uh, could there be one more dragon Pokemon? If Kirim really exists. We don't know what kind of Pokemon it is. For starters, the two, dra uh, the two Pokemon, the ancient Pokemon split into, uh, both are out have overwhelming power. So Kirim exists, it's just a husk of what's left over. Boom. Hmm? What was that sound? What? What is that? It's a flying... It's a flying ship, Drayden. It's a flying ship. That's what that is. It's a flying ship. Oh, it's got a cannon. got a cannon it's a deaf ship it's bringing it's bringing death and destruction and a lot of ice apparently oh dear lots of ice glaciers have just literally surrounded the city hey can I evolve Eevee into Glaceon with these ice glaciers no no I can't it's not how it works This world of ice! Haxorus, use Dragon Tail! But isn't that not very effective? Well, it's not. It's it's normal effectiveness on ice, actually. But, you know, ice is super effective on dragons. That's enough, Haxorus! Well, that was pointless. Not even a scratch. The ice stays unbroken. There's not even a scratch on it. What is going on? Hmm. 
I don't think that's gonna work. I remember you from Enns Castle. This is bitter cold. <laughs> I'm shivering, but I am suffering. I am shivering. I am suffering, but I am alive. It's what is. It's what the essence of life feels like. It's proof of my existence. But there's enough philosophy. But that's enough philosophy for life. There are I, here are the facts for your admiration. This world of ice was simply created by Team Plasma's technology. My God, it's cold. As long as. Uh, we have that as our secret weapon. You'll never be able to break or melt this ice. Let me explain our purpose here. Drayden, hand over the DNA splicers. Overlucid City is a city where the past and the future are intertwined. Could there be a more perfect place for the splicers? that connects the world to the separated Pokemon. <sighs> Do you think someone who knows what you did two years ago will just hand them over quietly? Hmm. That's what I thought you would say. My God, was someone put the heating on? At this point, I would like to threaten you with another volley of ice, but, um... We can't use it at the moment. It takes a bit time to for it to, uh, you know, recharge after using it. <sighs> it won't be enjoyable in this cold, but I guess we'll have to search for them. Those foul villains! Joanne, I want you to help me. We're going to... Drive Team Plasma out of Overlucid City. Okay. Alright, you've already lost. And you... You're not battling me. You're not battling me. You're battling me. Alright, let's do this. Really? You have to have four Pokemon? And you have to be level 50? I'm okay, I'm okay. Lefties are coming through. Uh, Crunch. Will you die already? My god, it's Watchog! That's a critical hit slam! Die, Watchog! Watchog just won't die! Glalie. Okay. I mean, at least I get to see what Glalie looks like. Not sure I like it. Oh, apparently you live flamethrowers! And you have Moody! How about no? Uh, what do I do against you? You can have Thunder Punch, can't you? I don't know if you do. That boosted your defense. It didn't boost your special defense, so I'm fine. Garbuda! Dragon Pulse? Look at Garbuda, it looks like a giant cookie. With its color modification, it looks like a giant cookie and I love it. I kind of want to eat Garbuda now. <laughs> that sounds weird, doesn't it?
Yay, Pat's evolving! It would be nice if he could just bypass Staravia and just evolve straight into Staraptor, but it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that, you know. How could this... How could this be? Is... Wait, no. I, I, if I remember correctly, I use a Scouse accent for these people. How could this be? Is that what kind of power Pokemon have when they're not treated like objects? Dude, you're pretty powerful yourself. I'm going to heal. And then we're going to face the other two Team Plasma Grunts. And then we're going to end today's episode, okay? I'll say, it is a giant ice floor puzzle that I'm having to deal with right now. All right, spell you. Amoongus. Fly! Dude, I'm flying type. You're dying. Cat turn. Okay. I can deal with cat turn. Flamethrower. Spikes. I mean, I'm annoyed by spikes, but I'm okay. I mean, especially since I have to switch. Those are the rules of, a, of the S-Lock. I have to switch every time. Despite the fact that I would be great against this Pokemon, rule state I have to switch. I mean, at least you don't get hit by the spikes uh, being in the air, you know? There we go. Okay, you were quite easy. Hand them, hand them over. The DNA splices. The others found out the DNA splices are, uh, are here. So hand them over. When they, when we do, when we get them, the universe region will be ours. I'm sure it will be. I'm sure it will belong to Liverpool. But like, I'm not gonna let. I'm not going to do that. As a fel as an Evertonian, I will never hand things over to any Liverpudlian, including the including the premier including the Premiership title. I mean, there's nothing we could do to stop you from winning the Premiership title, Liverpool. But like, we're not just going to hand you it on a silver platter. Thank you. Thank you. That goes to level 45, and some wireless. Okay. Dragon Pulse. There we go! And she was the easiest of all three. There we go. Look at this beautiful, majestic beast that's about to come out of this uh, evolution spiral. Staraptor! Since Olin said to stick to Drayden, because uh, that's... Uh, while we're uh, f that way we find anything important well I'm pretty much done here so I can guess we can end off this episode here we'll ch we'll deal with what team plasma as plans are on Friday's episode The only one left is Zinzolan of the Seven Sages. Where could he be? What 
Oh, what's going on at the gym? Well, we'll go and deal with Sinsawan in the next episode of our Pokemon Vault White 2 Yes Lock. I'm going to go and do some grinding off screen and get every get my two new members of the team to uh, be actual members of the team. So we got Pat, who's now a Star Raptor, and we got Punk, who is uh, going to be a rather interesting to use as well. I'm going to work on them and see what happens. But until next time, I am Lancer and Joe. Me to the Pokemon get to Laza. If you're excited that we're back, let me know in the comment section down below. But anyway, um, everybody get Pokemon. That's what me to the Pokemon get to Laza means. <laughs> and until next time, I'm out. See you again. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.